welcome back to my cozy corner of the internet. I'm Maya Star. I teach energy healing courses online through Maya Star Academy. Create music as a Lemurian priestess and provide healing, ritual and spell casting services as a star seeded shaman and professional witch. And here I select a tarot deck each week from my extensive collection to elucidate the ethers and scry the shifting celestial tides on behalf of the collective. These readings are not aimed at any particular person and you are meant to find them at the time their guidance is most relevant to you. So please take only what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. My musings are intended to inspire, uplift and guide you on your healing journey. Find out about the different ways you can work with me or join my mailing list by visiting my website at myastar.net. My latest channeled music backs this video. Listen to the end to hear more about this sacred recording and to hear about all the latest Myastar news. This week, I'm celebrating 20 years of teaching energy healing techniques and providing attunements to students all over the world through Myastar Academy, so there's a lot to catch up on. In this energy update, we will be looking at the dominant energetic influences and the opportunities they're creating for us now. We will cover the potential for energetic opposition and explore ways we can circumvent problems or mitigate challenges. And finally, I'll draw daily cards with guidance and law of attraction affirmations that you can use to align with the current energetic landscape and enhance your positive mindset. I've chosen the Sun and Moon Tarot for our mystical meanderings today. This deck is based on the Thoth deck and includes dreamy scenes, lots of dolphins and magical symbols. There's a lot to draw from in every card and it's a great deck to use for meditating on the archetypes because it diverges a great deal from the traditional scenes while still expressing the traditional theme of each card. I'm sure it will be a powerful translator of the numinous forest today. So sit back, relax your shoulders, take a sip of chamomile tea, exhale deeply and let's explore. The dominant energetic influence we can tap into over the coming week for the purpose of progressing the spiritual journey and pursuing the path to wholeness is reflected in the King of Swords. This card reminds us of the power we have over our lives through the potency of our words. Our communication with ourselves and others is a magical process. We translate our feelings and ideas into language in order to share them. When we share lies, we're effectively performing black magic. And when we try to deceive ourselves in our thoughts, we're performing black magic on ourselves. The presence of this card in this position tells us to be considerate of our thoughts and words this week. Be mindful of how accurate your translations of your thoughts and ideas into words and self-talk are. Be prepared to change your mind and open yourself to new interpretations of old beliefs. The second card identifies the potential opposition we may face in pursuit of the promises of the first card. And this week, there is no opposition anticipated. Rather, the Six of Cups adds to our interpretation of the first card. This card reminds us that connecting with the inner child can help us to approach the world with openness and hope. Setting aside time for creative pursuits and relaxation can help you to align with this energy make time to play and connect with friends and new opportunities for optimism and high vibes will ensue. 
with respect to the King of Swords energy blended with this current, maintaining a positive mindset, being childlike in our approach to life and not making judgments or focusing on the things that upset us, is a good way to bring our energy back into alignment. And now we turn to the daily cards for the week ahead. These cards depict and define the archetypal energetic influences we can harness to optimize our personal power and increase our inspiration in the coming days. Monday, Four of Wands. Today brings the good things into focus and inspires you to celebrate your success with wild abandon and a heartfelt happy dance. The universe reminds you that gratitude paves the way for future triumph and removes the obstacles of cynicism and entitlement. Appreciate everything. Affirm. I embrace excellence and align with abundance. Tuesday. Strength. Find your fortitude and realize your resilience by connecting with your inner strength. The universe reminds you that your power comes from trusting yourself to respond to challenges with wisdom rather than force. Light crystallizes around you to form a shield of protection and peace. Affirm. My soul is whole, my spirit is true. Wednesday, Three of Cups. Be open to the opportunities and the universe will give you something to smile about. Acknowledge the bounteous blessings and endless enchantment expressed in every majestic moment. The universe reminds you that everything and everybody is a miraculous manifestation of love. Affirm. Always and in all ways I prosper. Thursday, Two of Wands. Invest your ideas with energy by taking action. Pave the way to a fantastic future by adopting good habits and learning something new today. The universe reminds you that channeling your intentions into the things that inspire your passion will progress your path to success. Affirm. I align with audacity and dance towards my dreams. Friday, King of Pentacles. Tides of prosperity and progress turn to create golden opportunities for greatness in your life today. The universe reminds you that true wealth is reflected in the quality of your relationships, including the one you have with yourself. Affirm, I am open to greater joy and joyful greatness. Saturday, Seven of Swords. A break with convention opens the door to opulent opportunity today. Confound your own expectations by doing things you didn't plan to do in ways you haven't done them before. The universe reminds you that to manifest your gifts, you need to embrace your eccentricity. Affirm. My authenticity paves the path of progress and peace. Sunday. Ace of Cups. Open your heart and soul to the possibility of progress by imagining how well things could go. Wishes may very well come true today for those that dare to make a wish. The universe reminds you that divine forces are always conspiring in your favour. Affirm, my soul is open to boundless blessings. This concludes our mystical musings for the week ahead and brings us to the Maya star news. This reading was drawn for the week commencing the 29th of April 2024. But these words are meant for you whenever you found them and I hope they brought you inspiration on your path. In today's Maya Star News, 
I want to tell you about my latest channeled meditation music and the latest updates and special offers. This week's special offer is a newsletter subscribers exclusive. So to receive this one, you will need to make sure you're subscribed to the newsletter so that you can celebrate 20 years of Maya Star Academy with me and all of those that have become part of the Maya Star Collective over the past two decades. It's been incredible to take stock at a milestone like this and realize how much love and light I've been able to share with my students over the years. I've provided over 11,000 certificates for different energy healing modalities that I've passed on to new healers and spiritual practitioners of all kinds all over the world. And in that time, I've channeled 56 attunement-based energy healing systems, including the Avalonian Trilogy, the Emissaries of the Light series, the Wheel of Light Starseed Activation series, as well as the new attunements that are being released this year for the Wisdom of the Star series and the Whispers of the Goddess series which will focus on starseed energies and healing techniques from different star tribes and divine feminine energy healing and personal empowerment through different deities. If you've been part of the Maya star journey, I'm sure you'll appreciate how much has changed since the early days. I now provide ritual and spell casting services alongside my teaching work and new services have been offered along the way, including the temple services with personal healing sessions and consultations. In March 2022, I rebranded my YouTube channel after a long hiatus, moving from the rambling, whispering witch videos that I released back in 2016 or 2017 to a more structured style with our weekly energy updates for the collective and a series of energy healing articles covering all kinds of spiritual topics including attunements, law of attraction, psychic protection and much more. They are collected together on a YouTube playlist so you can easily binge watch the entire series if you feel moved to. And then last year, I began creating and distributing my meditation music as well. So in the past 20 years, Maya Star has evolved a great deal. And I hope it will continue to evolve in alignment with the power that moves the universe. Bringing healing, hope and happiness to my students and clients for another 20 years, at least. So I'd like to say a big thank you to you today, whatever your contribution to Maya Star has been, it's appreciated. Whether you watch, like or share my videos, take my courses, buy my music or engage with me on social media, Maya Star wouldn't be what it is today without you. And your role in the Maya Star Collective is essential. So thank you and may blessings fill your world. If you feel drawn to pursue your spiritual path or progress your healing journey with energy work, you can find over a hundred attunement-based energy healing courses on the Myastar website at myastar.net. I provide individual support by email for all students and personally prepare all attunements using the Orb of Life method which allows my students to receive them wherever they are in the world. This week's meditation is called Relax in a Lemurian Moon Garden and listen to the stars singing songs of peace. This track includes a Lemurian rune song with runes to encourage relaxation. It's a great antidote to stress and might be a good track to listen to while you're working, reading, winding down or even going to bed. There are four versions of this track available, including the light language mantra mix, the sound bath dreamscape mix and ambient versions with ocean waves and thunder drum. 
check out all of the mixes on your favourite music app. And if you want to support my work, you can also buy Maya Star Music from Amazon or iTunes. I will leave the music playing for the next 5 minutes at the end of this video to afford you a moment of respite and relaxation. But before that, I'd like to thank you for spending some time with me today. I hope you're leaving this video suffused with good vibes and great ideas. On this channel I share my week ahead spiritual guidance and mystical musings for the collective, meditation soundscapes and energy healing articles to inspire and uplift you on your spiritual path. You can find a collection of Maya Star energy healing articles that cover a variety of spiritual new age and star seeded topics on this channel as well as on the Maya Star website at mayastar.net. I upload inspiring spiritual content for you every day, so please come back soon. In the meantime, I wish you peace, prosperity and progress in all you do. With blessings.